Hey everyone, uh, so it's like I'm here with another YouTube video today. Um, today's video is gonna be out of upstate New York. Um, this video is disturbing, um, horrifying, and it's shocking how this person's even out. But uh, with that being said, let's get into it and talk about it for a minute. Um, like I said, it's out of upstate New York. Um, this is about a man who was recently charged with rape and now he has killed two people and wounded another person. Now, he has been charged twice, two times, in the past month and has gotten out. His first charge was assault misdemeanor crime. Now, I can just think it now for misdemeanor assault crime in a month, okay? Post bail, you know, get out. Or even get out without posting bail. And I'd like to understand that, but but now he's been charged with not only that, but off unlawful imprisonment and rape, and he's out again within a, in less than a month. Because you know that first charge had to take time, so I wasn't even say a month, but it's less than a month. Okay, he was at least on bail on that two times, twice, and not only that, he was supposed to appear to court, had a bench warrant. And the judge denied it. He said, no, don't go. I mean, what kind of judge does that? I mean, this man has been charged with misdemeanor assault, unlawful imprisonment, and rape. He's been arrested twice in the past two months. He misses a court date. They put out a bench warrant. You say, no, deny it. What? I mean, why would you even deny it? I mean, rape out of all his charges? I mean, what? He has assault and rape? I mean, what is his... What is the judge thinking? I mean, what judge would do that? If it was me, if he was an hour late, I'd be the first one to sign that um, bench warrant, go get him, pick him up. He's going to stay in jail. If it was up to me, if I could, I wouldn't even release him from jail the second time. Assault, miss me assault, I can understand, but rape, no. No, he would have been staying in there if it was up to me. If, I, if that's a choice, I, I would have made sure he did that. Um... So, so, the police captain said he remains in custody at the hospital. Um, so, the taxi had just dropped the, the two women off at one of their apartments around 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday. So, not even a day, two days ago, not even two days ago this happened. Um, and there was a, they were gunned down. It says there was a male who was shot at the same location. Uh, one of the women and the men who died... Uh, one of the women who survived did call 911. Um, you know, this, this is just crazy. What what he did, you know, and what this woman has to deal with now. I mean, can you, under, can you even imagine being shot? You survive somehow being shot. And then you see possibly two friends being shot. I don't, I'm not going to say definitely two friends because they didn't give a relationship because of the um, the crime committed and doesn't know if the rape charge or the assault crimes are connected. So they don't want to give a, uh, names or relationships out yet until everybody's sure and families are notified. Um, they did find the man, uh, obviously, because he's in custody. Uh, SWAT team, state officials, and local police department did surround his house. Uh, he did cut his neck and his wrist before surrendering to police after a three-hour standoff. He then ended up giving himself up to the police. Um, now, this is the even crazier part. Now, it says this town has not had a homicide in more than 20 years. That's not even the crazy part. It says according to the police chief, around five thousand people live in that city I mean more than 20 years so you know it's a small city you know everybody knows everybody probably or close to it everybody's tight you know family oriented and we got this guy released on bail twice like I said misdemeanor assault misdemeanor I can understand but rape and unlawful imprisonment what no and then this guy misses a court date and the judge says pretty much F it I'm gonna throw it out and then he goes and kills two people and shoots another person. I mean, and especially in a small town like this, you know, you know, news shootings happen every day. But, you know, according to the police chief, you know, 20 years, 
Yeah, they've been as home as 5,000 people. You know, in a small town like that, it really hits home to people, you know. You know, even where I live, there's shootings all around, you know, like 15, 5 to 20, 30 miles, you know, away. But, you know, if it was happening, like, right here, you know, and it's happening, you know, it's going to hit home more because it's in a smaller community. And, you know, there are sh um, shootings happening in this smaller community. And, you know, that hits home more to people and it affects people more. Because it's a smaller community and you don't think it would happen more. You would think it would happen, like, you know, in the streets, in the cities, you know, downtown somewhere. Or, you know, late at night in the street. You don't think it would happen late at night in a small town like this. But, you know. You know, another thing they're trying to figure out is, if the like I said, the woman connected to the rape charge or the uh, misdemeanor assault charge. And the other woman just happened to be there with her, or and the man just happened to be there. You know, who knows? Um, but uh, I mean, this is just crazy. You know, people are going, just going, shooting people, going wild and crazy, and not caring for other people or in other people's lives, and they're just going crazy for no reason. I mean, this is going way out of hand. You know, and you know, people say they need to do this, need to do that, and I say it in my YouTube video about race, but. You know, you can say it all you want. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. People, I'm gonna get people to do this. I'm gonna start this organization. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start showing people to do this. You know, you can say that all you want. You can say I'm gonna get people to do this, but until you actually do it, it really don't matter what is, what is said or what you say until it's actually done. Because you know, I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, I really don't understand how he is even out on bail. I mean, that, that's just the court system, judicial system, effed up. I mean, that's messed up bad. I mean, honestly, he, sh he should not be out right now at all. And if he gets out again, then I don't know what to tell him. He, if he gets out again, I don't know. I mean, you'd think he would not, but you wouldn't think he'd be out with two charges in less than a month and have a bench warrant out for him and the judge deny it. But, you know, I'm not a judge, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a cop, so I wouldn't know about all that. But, um, good thing now is that he's in custody. Uh, I want to give my prayers out to the family, uh, the two people who are dead now, and to the people, to the woman who was shot. Um, also, to, I also want to give my prayers out to the family of the man, because, you know, who knows what they're going through either, you know. A lot of people just focus on the victims, you know, well, his family is a victim too because they're having to, you know, wonder why is he doing this, why he do this, you know, what do we do wrong if it's his parents, what do we do wrong, why is he doing this, da, da, da. you know, so I'm, I just want to give my shout out to them and give my prayers out to them also as well. Um, I also want to give my shout out to and thanks to the police department there, state, local, and federal officials for apprehending this guy and taking him into custody. And I also hope he don't get out again. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Um, what should happen to this guy? Um, if he should have got out in the first place on either one of these charges. Um, just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you.